everyone, it's Eric here from Love to Rip FPV. Just going to give you a quick little uh, viewing of the Emacs Tiny Hawk 3 that I just got yesterday. Um, just looking at it, kind of a cool color case comparing to the Tiny Hawk 2. Same style case, different color, right? Um, but the bird itself, we'll just open her up. And here's what you get in the package you get your standard stickers, um, some extra props, which will come in handy. Um, I bought extra props for the two. I, I don't think I've ever had to swap out any uh, from breakage. I find that the um, the uh, little spindle hole here kind of gets worn and the props pop off easier. But in terms of breaking the props, I've never done that yet. Knock on wood. It comes with the standard one cell uh, 450 milliamp motor. Uh, uh, I think the, the two came with that as well. So that's normal. Comes with your little standard tool kit, some squares, sorry, spare screws and a little tiny screwdriver rubber grommet i think and then these little rubber bands are what hold the uh the battery onto the frame with uh this is new so this is a usb charger one or two cell and you have the option of changing the uh the battery types there which is kind of cool so you can just plug it into your laptop if you're in the field flying around the bird itself is uh looks good um so the frame is a little different from the Tiny Hawk 2. Uh, I know the motors are different. They're using 15,000 kV motors now. So kind of curious to see what the performance is like that, uh, like with these motors. I haven't flown this yet. I just did a binding sequence, so I'm going to test it out uh, at the end of this video. The camera itself is a little different. So here's just a quick comparison of the Tiny Hawk 2 and 3. So here's your 2, here's your 3. Cosmetically, there are some differences to the frame. Um, I've never broken the Tiny Hawk 2 frame and I've been bouncing off chairs and posts and all that kind of stuff and it's been pretty resilient. Um, they're boasting that the frame on the 3 is stronger so that's good. <laughs> um, the cameras I can tell though are different and I believe the Tiny Hawk 2 is a run cam 2? Yeah it's a Nano 2 so I don't know if, you can, if that'll focus in. So that's a Nano 2 and on this guy I believe they're using a Nano 4 so you can see that couple of revisions up so kind of curious to see what the camera looks like on uh, on a comparison to the two uh, as I said the frame itself this actually looks a little smaller but I don't think it's smaller per se the props are the same size uh, but they've trimmed down a lot of the uh, the excess uh, plastic on this frame uh, compared to the two so I believe the props are the same uh, underneath looks the same as well uh, I did notice this though they put a small cap on uh, the uh, power supply cable uh, whereas this one doesn't so I just probably going to cut down on some noise a bit um, other than that I think it looks pretty cool I did notice too though if this will pick it up you can see the board in there it's kind of recessed down into the frame down inside uh, on the three it's a lot higher uh, and which makes the micro USB cord uh, car, sorry plug a lot more accessible so that's pretty cool because um, I found this one kind of a pain to wriggle your cable in there um, this one's right up front which is great in terms of uh, plugging into beta flight and do whatever you need to do um, the rest of the stuff that looks the same still you can still plug your motors into ports on the board so that's the same idea just a uh, different location maybe um, so yeah I'm kind of curious to take this up and see how it flies so uh, without further ado let's give it a shot
All right, so there you have it. Quick run on the Tiny Hawk 3 by Emacs. Um, out of the box tune looks pretty cool. I uh, didn't have any issues with it. The uh, vision was quite clear on the uh, Runcam Nano 4, which is a really nice camera. I think the Runcams, the whole line is really pretty impressive. So, um, so yeah, really, really liking this little guy. Uh, you can see my run was not smooth. Honestly, I haven't flown in probably <laughs> six weeks five inch or otherwise so more than rusty but um took a couple of bangs and tumbles there tested out turtle mode works great uh so yeah pretty impressed uh, i'll be flying this around for the winter now so that uh our uh, temperature's dropping snow's starting to come down so uh, i'll be indoor flying now so hopefully we'll uh come up with some new things to do inside but um overall so far impressed it's one flight in but what can i say their product is pretty rock solid so so that's it Tiny Hawk 2, Tiny Hawk 3.